Greetings, our Hebrews, my brothers and sisters. This is the high priest, L.D. Smith, the watchman on the wall. As always, family, we say grab that King James. But first and foremost, I want to give a shout out to the whole family, Israel. Now, that being said, we're going to go forth into our teaching. As always, family, you guys know how I always start off. We got a fine one. The Most High has given us a fantastic teaching tonight. All praise to the Most High living God of Israel. All praise, all praise. Now, family, now, you know, you guys know how I ask you. I ask you guys to read along with us. I ask you guys to think about the word and listen to the words that are coming out of your mouth. And I know that the Most High will give you a clear understanding. That being said, we're going to go forward into our teaching. And as I stated, I want you guys to, to think about it. Think about it. I want you to, to, we're not going to use a whole lot of scriptures, you, you know, because we don't need that. You don't need a whole lot of scriptures. All, all, you, all, you, all you need is a, is a little bit. You know, a little dab will do. That's, that's all you need. And just meditate on it. Think about it. And when you think about it, that scripture will lead you to another scripture. Just think about it. See, because God, God is the same. He don't change. He don't change. He does not change. But some people think he does. But I'm here to re refresh your memory. God don't change. He doesn't. Now, we're going to go forward into our teaching. Now, I did say, uh, uh, I named this one, The Heart Will Tell On You. Now, we're going to go in the book of Proverbs now. Like I said, I said Solomon wrote this now. I want y'all to think about this. Think about this. Think about this. Don't let nobody fool you. Don't let nobody fool you. Think about it. Now, we're going to get started now. We're going we to look at uh, Proverbs chapter 27. We're going we, to read one out of here. That's all we need. That's all we need. Okay? Now. But we're going to read two. But we're going to let, let, Let's read three of them out of here. Let's read 17, 18, and 19. How about that? That sounds good. Iron sharpens iron, so a man sharpens his countenance of his friend. Whosoever keepeth the fig tree, eat the fruit thereof. <laughs> huh? Huh? Whosoever keepeth the law, eat the fruit thereof. How about that one? Whosoever that keepeth the word of God, huh? Get the reward. See, when when you when you keep this word, you're gonna be re rewarded. It is a a way of rewarding you. When you keep this word and when you do this word. That's why, family, I tell you all the time. That's why Joshua said, thou shalt meditate. Thou shalt meditate day and night. There he is. To do according to all. Not some of it, but all of it, see. You think about doing all of it. You may not have reached there yet. But it's on your mind. It's on your mind that I'm going to obtain this. I'm going to do this. Now, you already done, done this back here. So you already got that part up under your belt. Now you, you, you're striving for it to do some more. Do some more. Do all of it. Meditate to do all their, their way in. And then thou shalt. That sounds like a promise. That sounds like a promise to me. That sounds like a promise. You shall. You shall have good success. We're on the road, baby. We're on, we're on the road to it. We're on the road to it. We're on the road for great success, I'm telling y'all. Now, let's keep on going here now because, like I said, all I want you to do is listen to the, and then think about it. Picture yourself. Look, picture yourself. Look at yourself. Look in the mirror. And you'll see what I'm talking about. You'll see. Is that is that is, is that what they see in when they see me? See, because your heart is going to tell on you. Your heart is going to tell on you. You see, you think, well, I just won't say nothing. Well, you're going to do something. 
You're going to do something, and, you, and, and then what you do, your heart is going to tell on you. Well, see, some people think, oh, no, 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 no. No, see, you can fool some of the people some of the time, but you can't fool all the people all the time. You can't. And see, I'm telling you, you can live to be a thousand years, but you, your heart is going to tell the true you. If you are a true soldier of the Most High God, your heart is going to display that. It is. Why do you think David was so quick to uh, uh, ask for, for forgiveness? Because David, David found out he had shit in him that, that he didn't, he didn't know. I have sinned. Forgive me. Y'all know when Jonathan told him, hey, "Hey, David, you are you are that man." And David quickly, "Oh man, I have sinned." But see, but there's a lot of times folk will do things and then know that it's wrong. So when it comes back to them, it ain't that uh, I didn't know that it was wrong. I knew that wrong, but uh, I didn't care. They don't care. But when a person is sincere and they do you wrong, they'll come back and say, I, uh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I, just didn't, I just didn't mean to do that. I didn't, I didn't know that that was going to come out of what I said uh, or what I'd done. I was, I was not aware of it. But now I, I, I'm, I, I'm sorry. Father, forgive me. See, that's a, that's a person who's, who's sincere about not harming their brother or sister. But then, but you got others, they'll do it. Uh, I, don't, I don't care what come out of it. As a matter of fact, uh, I want harm to, harm to come out of it. That's, that, that's why I did it, or either that's why I said it. Because they don't care. Don't care. But let's keep on. We're going to keep on going here now. Now watch this right here. Proverbs 27, 19. Now let's, now let's look at that. As, as in water, faith answers to faith. All right. Let me tell you what he's saying. As you look in water, you see your face knit on it. Your face is reflecting you, your face. So you see your face, huh? The water is showing you, you. You, it's say face, face reflected face. It is showing you your face. Now let's keep on going. So the heart of man reflects to man. Or the heart of man to man. So in, a, in other words, your heart reflects the true man that you are. Did you just say? Your heart reflects the true man that you are. A woman. It doesn't matter. See, like I say, there are some women, they'll read this and say, oh, well, it's just talking about a man. But if you look in the mirror or you look in some water and you're a woman, you're going to see you. You ain't going to see no man. You're going to see your own self. This is what he's saying. You have to learn how to read. But it is just the man that he's, he, he's saying that, that is looking in the water. But if you look in the water, you're going you're gonna to see yourself. When you, when, you, when you look in the mirror, do you see me? I'm talking to all females. When you look in the mirror, do you see me or do you see yourself? This is what it's saying. When you look in the water, the, the water is reflecting you. So your heart, what, what comes out of your heart is reflecting you, not me. My heart is going to reflect me. But your heart is going to reflect you, male or female. See, so don't don't let don't let nobody fool you with the with that bullshit. 
You got to come up out of that, that fucking adolescent state of mind. You got to rise up. All praise, all praise. Listen, that don't mean shit. That just lip service. He said, you worship me with your lips, but in your heart, you are far from me. He doesn't care about you saying all praise to the Most High, all praise to the Living God, all praise to to whoever you're talking about. He don't care about that. He wants you to serve him. Serve him in righteousness and in holiness. Serve him as a separated people. But you have to see Your heart is going to tell who you are. You lying on somebody, your heart is going to tell on you. You know you have said all kind of untruths about an individual. One day your heart is going to tell on you. Because you know what? You're not going to lie on that person. You're going to start lying on others. And then you're going to keep on lying. Then then it's going to keep on doing a domino domino effect. And then everybody's going to look back and say, oh, he ain't nothing but a liar. That's how a lie gets exposed. Because lying is in your heart. And the Bible can't lie. Your heart is going to tell on you. You can, you can see a person can say anything all day long, talk all day long. But then, but sooner or later, your heart is going to tell exactly who you are. You see, younger, younger people have, uh, have found that out now, you know. They have, they have found out because uh, a few years back, there was a little a fad that was going through the black neighborhood, man. I got your back, I got your back, I got your back. But see, the kids nowadays, they find, nah, uh-uh. I don't believe that shit. I don't believe that shit. See, let me tell you something. Family, God got all of our backs, okay, when we're serving him. But when you're not serving him, he does not have your back. He does not. He will curse you and cause all kind of things to happen to you. Things that you feared now have have, have came upon you because of your disobedience. You have left the word. You have left the commandments of the of the Lord God of Israel. And if you look back, you see that when Israel, the men and the women, make no difference, they all perish because they left the word. Of God. Some want to say, oh, well, it was just, just the men. No, 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 no. It was all. It was all. When they went into captivity, it wasn't just the men. It was the women, men, and children. Everybody went into captivity. It wasn't just one. See, so so, so one has to understand that that when you when you don't when you do right and another person doing wrong, then uh that person that's doing wrong, that's the one that's gonna get it, not you. Not you. Now, I'm gonna show you here in the pages, just what I said. Because when uh this king found out he tore his clothes. He did, he tore his clothes. But I'm I'm, going to talk about that in teachings to come. But because the king was angry because they had wandered away from the Most High God and, and he didn't know it, God says, I'm going to wait until you die. And then I'm going to get them. I'm not going to let you suffer. 
But after you die, I'm going to get them. It's right in the pages. I think it was. Jeroboam. I think I think that, that was the name. Jeroboam. Yeah. God says, I'm going to wait until you die. And after you die, I'm going to get them. You're not going to get away. See, so so all those that that, that does right, you ain't going to worry about it. Just like God told Abraham about Sodom. If I can find one in there, five in there, he, he started wearing 50 and he came on down, came on down. Couldn't find nobody but but uh, 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 Solomon's, uh, I mean, not, not Solomon, but uh, Abraham's nephew. Bought them out, then he destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. See, so the righteous is not going to suffer with the wicked. But if, but if you're wrong, baby, you got something coming and, and there is no escape. You can say, well, I gave this, or I gave that. Or I, I, I Listen, the most I don't give a fuck about that. He don't, he don't care nothing about that. All he care about is you doing his word. Do what his word say. And there are so many different aspects of, of doing what his word say. He said, give, give, he, he said, give the offerings to the to the priest. He says, the priest kept the sin offering. Then he goes on and he says, there in Malachi, many, many don't even understand what he says. He said, bring you in all the tithes into the storehouse that there might be meat in my house. Now, if an individual go back and read and see what all the offerings were, you had the grain, you had the oil, you had the fruit, you had all those. And you had the meat offering. Right? Yes. Now, when he says bring you in all the tithes, he's saying bring everything in. But what did he specifically say, bring in? He said, bring in meat. Why? Because they were bringing in everything but the meat. But you got others that were reading, oh, well, he just said, bring in meat. No, you're ignorant. You're ignorant and you're unlearned and you don't want to, and, and most of all, you, you don't want to learn because you think you know something. Just because you know a, a couple of scriptures that you learned from somebody else, like myself, now you know something. But see, God always had him a representative for his people. But are you God's people? You may not be. I don't know. But I can tell you this. God always has him a representative to, to go to his people. But then but you got those that, oh, well, since I know a couple of scriptures, uh, uh, I'm good now. I got to run and start. But yeah, but uh, you may know a couple of scriptures that, that God's teacher. The man have taught you. But where you go from there? Well, I, well I'm just going to wait for e Elijah. Well, okay, well, wait for Elijah. Wait for Elijah and see what happens. Wait for Elijah and see what happens. There was, there's a scripture that says that, that there were many were hollering by, uh, 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 I'll be glad when the dead Lord, dead Lord, and he came back to me and said, no, no you're not. You won't be glad for the day of the Lord. You won't. Because you're out of place. You're not going to be talking the same thing Elijah is talking about when he comes back, if you are a part of the family. Huh? But let's keep on going here. We um, did 19 then. Because, yeah, you need to know that. Now let's go to Ecclesiastics. Ecclesiastics chapter 10. One that uh, I just talked about in, in, in another video. Let's, let's look at that. This is another one of Solomon, Solomon writing. Let's look at Ecclesiastes 10 and 2. Look what it says. A wise man's heart is at his right hand, but a fool's heart is at his left. Y'all see that? Y'all see that? 
Don't be a fool. Don't be a fool. Do not change the word of God in your mind, in your language, in your behavior, because the word of God does not change. Okay? When you start doing doing uh, not the word of God and you saying that you're doing the word of God, it says there's a way that seemeth right. Well, it just seemed right, even though we did this right here, you know. Uh, no, 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 no. When it is authentic, it is authentic. That's the word of God. It is perfect. It is perfect in the way that it is. When you change it, it is no longer the word of God that you change. It, because his, his word, when you keep on looking at it, it's going to keep on saying the same thing. You can change it all the way down, all the way down, down, the, down the line all you want to. That's, that's on your behalf. But when you go back and look at it from the original authentic word, huh? it's still saying the same thing. And that's all God is going to go by, what he said. He's not going to go by what he said and what you said he said. It's going to go by what he said. Now let's keep on going here. It's fool at heart. Now let's keep on. Let's go back to Psalm 119. Now watch this right here. Psalms 119. Psalms 119. Long Psalm. Long Psalm. Let me see what I want out of here. Oh, I'm, 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 I'm going to start right here from the, from the top. Okay. All right. All right. Let's look at Psalm 119. Uh, let's look at verses 3. I'm going to start with them. It said, Let the house of Aaron say that his mercy endures forever. Let them now that fear the Lord say that his mercy endures forever. I call upon the, the Lord in distress. Talking about who? The sons of Aaron. The Lord answered me and set me in a large place. The Lord is on my right side. I will not fear. What can man do unto me? The Lord taketh my part with them that help me. Huh? Therefore shall I see my desire upon them that hate me. Y'all see that? Talking about, let the house of Aaron now see. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. All them that hate me, let me see my desire upon them that hate me. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man and in woman too. And in woman too. Because he says, trust no flesh. He says, put no trust in the flesh. So uh, is, is the woman, does she have flesh? Or is she made out of some kind of metal material? What? She's flesh. The Most High says everything down there, all flesh is mine. You got flesh that own the animals. They got flesh. So you got a female that is a woman. She has flesh in her too. So let all flesh praise the Lord. But look what he says here. He said, it is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in Prince. Y'all see that? Huh? See, one has to meditate on the word of God. One has to know the word of God. And one has to keep the word of God. And one has to obey the word of God. Y'all see what he's saying here? See that? You can't trust, you can't put no, no trust in nobody. If I'm not telling you what God, God said, don't trust me. That's what God will accept. I'm this, I'm that, I'm that. No, no, no. I'm telling you what God has said. Just like I was talking with that individual, you know, about being blessed. 
I said, I'm not telling you what Larry, what Larry is saying. I'm telling you what God said. God said when Israel, Israel obeyed him, they were blessed. They were blessed. They didn't have lack of anything. I said, those are not my words. And I'm not taking it, taking it out of context. He said, when they were being obedient, they did not, he, he said, they didn't, even, they, they didn't even get sick. He says, I took sickness from among them. I gave them more than enough. I gave y'all an example of a person eating dinner. They can eat it, eat it, eat it until they full. Then they push it away. They say, I got enough. So the one that prepared it gave you more than enough. And that's that's how God is. God always gives us more than enough when, when, when we're being obedient to his word. All nations come past. This is verse 10. Me about. But in the name of the Lord, I will destroy them. Huh? Y'all see that? God is always with the one that is his representative. He's always with them. No matter what may come or go, God is going to always take care of them. God is always going to supply them. No matter what an individual may say or do. These are facts. Now let's keep on going. Now let's go to the book of Esther. Let's go to Esther. Let me see now. Let's go to the book of Esther. Now we're going to be here for a minute. Because this is going to be a part two. Yes, it's going to be a part two. Or might might be a part three. But but uh we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna finish this and I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you in God's word about your heart because there is a way that seemeth right. There's a way that seemeth right, but in the end, it's going to come back and bite your ass. It's going to come back and get you. Male or female, it doesn't matter. God is not prejudiced. It's not. Now we can look in the book of Esther. Chapter 6. Let's read verses 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. I'm going to show you something here. On that night could not the king sleep, and he commanded to bring the book of records of the chronicles, and there was read before the king. The book of chronicles read before the king. Now watch, watch it. See, because your heart is going to tell on your ass. Whether it's good or bad, your heart is going to tell on you. Your heart is going to tell on you. And it was found written that Mordecai, y'all remember that name, Mordecai. Remember him? Remember the name Mordecai had told the bigger thing and Teresh, two of the king's chair, uh, uh, chamberlains, the keeper of the door, who sought to slay, who, who sought to lay hands on the king, Asuras. In other words, Malachi warned the king that some that was in his own company was trying to lay hands on him. Y'all see that? Malachi told the king that it was some that was in his group that was unloyal. And they wanted to destroy him. They wanted to bring harm to him. And the king said, what honor and dignity has been done to Mordecai for this? Then said the king's servants that ministered unto him, there is nothing done for him. Huh? But let's keep on reading. 
Let's keep on reading and see what becomes of this. And the king said, who is in the court? Now, Haman was coming into the outer courts of the king's house to speak unto the king to hang Mordecai on the gallows that he had prepared for him. Y'all see that? Y'all see that? See, one has to always be doing that which is right in your heart because you never know who the Most High got out there doing all kinds of wicked shit. See, there, see, there are some out there that are, are doing all kinds of wicked shit towards the one that is doing what's right. See, that was, that was the right thing to, to warn the king. That you got some some uh some uh uh, uh 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 skeletons that uh that have infiltrated into your camp that ain't no good. And it was written that Mordecai was the one that told that they was trying to hurt you. Let's keep on. And the king's servant said unto him, Behold. Hannah standeth in the court. And the king said, let him come in. So Hannah came in, and the king said unto him, What shall be done unto the man whom the king delight to honor? Look what happened. Now Hannah thought in his heart, to whom would the king delight to do honor more than myself. Y'all see that? Y'all see that? I tell you, listen, the, the, the scripture always put a, a man there, but it is any, it's, the, it's anybody. It's anybody, and I'm not adding to it. I'm not adding to it. See, any and everything is right to a man in his own eyes. Now he sought to kill Mordecai because of the evil that's in his heart. But now you see here that he thinks that he is the one that is due to be honored before the king and before the people. But it's not him. But he thinks that. See, if so a man thinketh in his heart, so is he see, see, he's thinking this. But he's wrong. He's wrong. And Hannah answered the king. For the man whom the king delight to honor, let the royal apparel be bought, which the king uses to wear. And the horse that the king rideth upon, and the crown royal which is set upon his head. See, he's he's thinking about, he's thinking about doing all this for himself. See, he don't think anybody else in the kingdom is worthy but him. So he's telling the king. To do all this, all this, all this right now because I know within my heart, you know that uh, I'm I'm the best candidate. I should be more favorable than than anybody. But he's wrong. He's wrong. He's wrong. And see, this this is what happened to a lot of individuals in their heart. They they think that they are the the best choice. But you're wrong. You're wrong. You think you have made the right choice, but you're wrong. You're not, you're not doing it according to the word of God. You're doing it according to your own heart. And your own heart has deceived you. And in the end, thereof is destruction that is going to come to you because what's in your heart, that evil is going to kill you. It's going to kill you. 
That evil that is in your heart is going to kill you. I can promise you that. Now look what he says here. And let the peril and the horse be delivered to the hand of one of the king's most no noble prince, that they may array the man with all whom the king delighted to honor and to bring on horseback through the streets of the city and proclaim before him. Thus shall it be done to the man whom the king delighted to honor. He's thinking that it's him, but it's not. It's not. It's not. My daddy, oh, my, my daddy told me this years ago when I was a kid. He said, son, the thing you think, he said, is a thing it ain't. He said, but the thing that you don't think, he said, that's the thing it is. And I'm telling you here, you can see his wicked heart. He doesn't know that he's dressing up another man. He doesn't know that, 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 that he is setting the stage for the very one that he wanted to destroy. He's setting the stage for him to gallop through all the city and be par paraded before all the people in royal apparel with the crown on. The very one that you tried to destroy, God is going to take them to the top. The very one that you lied on, that you made false accusations, God is going to take him to the top. Let us keep on going. Then the king said to him, Make haste. But see, Hammond doesn't know that it's somebody else. But the king is telling him, okay, okay, good idea, fine idea. Hey, man, excellent idea. Get with it. Get on it. Get on it. Get on it now. Get on it now. Get on it now. Then the king said to Hammond, make haste and take the apparel and the horse as thou hast said. And do even so unto Mordecai the Jew. Mordecai the Jew. He, they called them Jews back there. But see, but I did the research on this. Mordecai is uh, from uh, the Benjamites. And so is Esther. Esther is. Esther is his niece. They're from the tribe of Benjamin. Who was, who was the first king? King Saul. Where tribe was he from? Benjamin? Huh? Yeah. But they call them Jews. But they're Benjamites. Do the research. To find out that I'm telling you the truth that sitteth at the king gates. Let nothing fall of all that thou hast spoken. In other words, <laughs> all that you have spoken, huh? All that you have spoken, you do that. Don't you let one word fall to the ground. But anyway, family, we're going to close there on, on, on that one. All praise, all praise. And we're going to pick, pick back up on it. We're going to pick back up right there. Uh, next week, we're going to pick up with uh, chapter 10, verse 6. All right? Now, remember now, the heart will tell on you. All right? The heart going to tell whether the, whether you are, 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 are any good or whether you ain't no good. All right? So you, you got to know how we do on the, at the end of the broadcast. We always come together with one voice and one mind. All praise. All praise. Now, we, now we're going to do it on the count of three. Y'all ready? One, two, three. One word, one God, one people, one love. Lead. All praise, all praise, all praise. 
all praying family. We say, tell them we, we love you. And, and family, look, like I say, meditate on this right here and come back next week for because family, we got part two. We got part two and we're going to finish this thing off. Until next time, family, we say shalom and we love you. Bye-bye.